All right, guys, it looks like we're going to have a couple days off this weekend, so we're going to try to get the boat on the lake, do some crappie fishing. I've actually worked 32 days straight now, I think, without a day off, so pretty excited about getting back after it. Um, our content's been lacking a little bit lately. Been having to put what we could on there, so we're going to get back after it, make some better content. I got something going on here I'm going to do to the boat that I thought I'd share with y'all and let y'all follow in the next fishing video how well it works. Um, I've seen several people talking about this online, a couple people on TikTok. I'm going to put some stabilizer chain off the back of the boat so we can fish with the wind and stuff. The wind's supposed to be up this weekend and I thought it might settle down the back of the boat, stabilize it a little bit, keep it from swinging so bad. So I've got some big log chain here. Um, I'm just gonna use what I had. I got two pieces about five foot long. They're a little over five, they're about five and a half foot long, but this is heavy big chain. So I think that's gonna work for us. Um, I've got a couple of carabiners. These are some stainless carabiners that I bought. And I've got some, I think this is 3 16 um, nylon, solid braid nylon rope. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tie one end of this rope right on to this, this chain. Uh, I'll show you, this is the knot I use all the time. It's a bowling. Just make me a loop right there come through it under this line here back up let that pull down tight and that will not come off uh, that's not going anywhere right there so got this one done since these are rusty chains I'm gonna leave them in this bucket and just I can put it in one of the live wells or something in the bucket. now I'm gonna come we hardly ever fish live scope uh, shallower than about six or eight feet. So I'm gonna come up from this chain. I, the idea here, maybe we can get this on video, is this chain's gonna drag on the bottom and slow the boat down. So what I wanna do, I wanna come up about eight foot from this chain and tie me a loop. That's about five right there. That's going to be about three or so, and I'll tie my first loop right there. I don't need a big loop. You can see right there, I'm just tying just a regular loop. Like I said, I don't need a big one. I just need one big enough that I can clip this carabiner in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tie me a loop like that about every two foot, about two foot increments after my first eight foot. Now the eight would be fine in ten foot of water. I'll still have two or three foot of that chain touching the bottom. And as it gets deeper from fishing 12, 14 foot on up to 20 foot, I'll have enough rope. I cut these ropes 30 foot. So I have plenty of rope, and I'm just going to tie, uh, this is about a two and a half foot increment right there that I can just take this carabiner off right here, get onto that one if I'm in some deeper water. And what I'll do, I'll end up snapping this right there in that eyelet on the boat. And I'm going to do one for each side. Only thing I'm a little worried about is the depth finder, but I think we'll be okay. This is going to be a test run. We'll see how it works. Uh, I'm going to go about another two and a half foot. I'm using this side runner on the boat trailer for a measurement for my loops. Right there. Just like so. always measure rope like this that's five foot 
if I'm about five, seven, five, eight, that's five foot. That's gonna be 10. So this second loop hit right at 10 foot. That's 15. That's 20. So you can see these are two and a half foot apart. So I can go all the way to 20 right there. And I could even tie one more here at 25 if I'm in some deeper water. Not many places we fish it's gonna be that deep. But I'll go ahead and tie that. So I've got this carabiner right now at like at 20 foot. So I'm fishing 20 to 22 or 3 foot. I can just snap it right there, bring my slack right up here so it don't get in the motor back there or something. And I've got these cleats up here. I can tie off to this cleat and my rope will be out of the way right there, like so. So in order to do our second one, we want to uh, make sure we're the same length on everything. Right now, I'll put them carabiners on there. Get Oakley off my rope and we'll pick these chains up. And drop them right in this bucket. We'll try these out in the next crappie fishing video that we'll shoot this weekend, see how they work. Let y'all know. That's going to be it for this one. God's Country Hunting Fishing. Keeping it real.